Get away. Are you okay? You alright? Hello, I'm the police. Just joined. Welcome and thank you very much for coming. We are here for something very, very important. Maybe the most important thing of our time. We're here to protest and to mark a genocide which is going on in Gaza at present. We have a government in the UK which is, it's an incredible situation when our government puts against a request to stop the killing. So thank you everybody for attending. You and millions like, like you will change this situation. But we will only do it through hard work and struggle with the Palestinians. Now, what we have is every week we have a protest. We don't always have it in the same town. We will do it in Kettering, in Colby, in Wellingborough, and in London. A, a, a rally within the county. So you will see this happening continually. The police are helping us to do this. Have tried to cancel us the protest. Within that, We've agreed a set of rules uh, of, of this protest. The, the format will be, we will have 15 minutes of silence. Following that, and following that, we will just have a few moments of quiet, and then uh, we will have a few free, free Palestine. Can you do that? Free, free Palestine. And, and it, that's how we will end it. After that, we'd, we'd like you, if you're able to, to disperse uh, and then get ready for the next event. We will have uh, some, some notices at the end and things that we can recommend you do. You can also buy some merchandise. There's flags there, uh, which you, know, you can have for a donation of a pound each. Um, and if you want to give your details to somebody or sign up on our Facebook page, then that would be fantastic too. Um, Right, I think that's everything. Um, one, oh no, the one last thing. We all know why we're here. The public who are out there may not understand why we're here. You've got some great signs, great, great placards. Can I ask everybody who's a placard to stand near the outside during the vigil and let the public read what they've written? We know we're already on board. Show your signage to the public and tell me if you can to be on the outside. Is that good? Yeah. Alright, Thomas, have you got a timer? Right. Let's let's start the 15 minute silent vigil now. Thank you.
everyone firstly I like to thank the organizers for allowing me to speak I'm truly horrified what's happening in uh, in Palestine it's really heartbreaking especially to the children the women as a human being a local community strongly demand ceasefire immediately to stop the bombarding and killing the innocent people in Palestine and Gaza Finally, my humble request to every one of you to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bring the peace to them. Amen. 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 Jazakallahu khair. Thank you, Tom. Good afternoon. I'm Nick Speed. I'm here representing Amnesty International. Can you hear me? Yes. Amnesty has been highlighting human rights violations against Palestinians for over 30 years and more recently launched the End Israel Apartheid campaign. In the last few weeks, Amnesty gathered... Aside from the horrific situation we see unfolding in Gaza, Amnesty continues to document an alarming increase in human rights abuses against Palestinians across the occupied West Bank. <coughs> inhuman and degrading treatment of prisoners and an increase in incidents of torture and death in custody in the last few weeks. We've called out both the ex-Home Secretary for her inflammatory and divisive language about last Saturday's march and the Shadow Foreign Secretary for only requesting humanitarian causes and not a full ceasefire. Sasha Desmuk, Amnesty's UK Chief Executive said, a humanitarian pause of a few hours or even days is neither practical nor sufficient to rebuild hospitals and clinics, secure the safe release and return of hostages, or enable independent investigations into war crimes and other human rights violations by the International Criminal Court. Collect crime and should be called out as one. Decades of injustice and impunity, as well as crimes associated with the occupation and Israel's system of apartheid, are at the root cause of this crisis. Justice and accountability offer an effective route out. Within the UK, Amnesty also highlights and opposes the BDS bill, which would impose fines on public bodies in the UK who try to boycott Israeli goods. We've taken action to highlight JCB. For many years, JCB machinery has been used by the Israeli authorities to demolish Palestinian homes and construct illegal Israeli settlements on the seized Palestinian land. And we also campaign on our rights to peaceful public protest, which this government has been restricting with legislation to try and increase police powers. And now they're even discussing removing us from the Europe uh, On October 7th, in which a great, a great many Israeli civilians were tragically killed and the world came together to condemn this. But this conflict did not start on October 7th, unlike, uh, despite what many would like you to believe. It has raged, raged for decades to varying degrees. In fact, from 2008 to 2000 and, uh, from 2008 to October 6th, Palestine! Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free Palestine! 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 Palestine
The more you kill them, the more they will fight. The more you make, the more hatred you light. The more you bomb, the stronger they grow. They have no guns, just stones to throw. Yet in front of your bullets, their young men run. No fear, no protection, brave men, everyone. You've taken their lives, their freedom, their kin, over all these decades, compounding your sin. A sin that no God can lift from your heart. It will eat your life, their children are darts. You can never repair the harm you have done. You embody all evil under the sun. Forever the future will echo your name. Damned as Israel, destroyed by your shame. Israel is pierced, destroyed by its pride. A wanton destruction now seen worldwide. Millie Razak, May the 18th, 2021. Come on, people! I'm dying! Innocent civilians! While the Western government and our own government is silent, it's now time for us to raise our voice against this atrocity! Free, free! Palestine! Free, free! Free, Palestine! One, two, three, four! Occupation, no more! Five, six, seven, eight! Israel is a terrorist state! In a thousand, in a million! We are all Palestinians! In a thousand, in a million! We are all Palestinians! Free, free! Palestine! Free, free! Free, free! that we are people of earth and those who have attempted to destroy us eventually destroyed themselves. Yeah! It is not the people of Gaza who are dead, it is in fact those sending bombs, dropping bombs and those standing on the wrong side of history. Yes! Their hearts, like their lives, are overtaken by blindness and a lack of dignity. They will never be free and our dead will be spirits who will eternally visit them. Yes. We are just closed now. Thank you for your attendance. It's really appreciated. And uh, uh, the way we go uh, really peacefully and quietly, please. Make sure we don't disturb any others. That's closed for now. No more speeches. No more speeches. Jazakallah khair. Thank you.